Hello and welcome to Fun with Creative Tech. This is the last video in the um, series looking at how to make an interactive artwork in Unity 3D using particle systems. Uh, in this video we're just going to have a look at how to build your application to something that you can run on any computer that you don't need the Unity editor installed on and how you can take a screenshot of your artwork and how you can set up a few little controls so you can control it at runtime. Now, first of all, let's have a look at where we're at. So we have our particles moving around. We have four particle systems mirrored in different axes. So let's look at um, adjusting variables on all of these particle systems. Now, we had the slider, which we learnt about in the second video. Now in this case it's only pointing to one particle system. If I click on it here it's pointing to the mouse move particle system and it's affecting the gravity, gravity modifier. Let's say I want to change the size on all the particle systems at once. Let's look at our, what functions we have on the particle system. We have a start size here. Now I'm going to have the minimum value of 0, maximum value of 3, and we're going to start our value at 1. So now when I click play, we've got our particle systems. Now if I slide it all the way up, you'll notice my particle system gets bigger, but only that one gets bigger. Now that's because it only has a reference to that one particle system. So what we need to do is add extra references here to the other three particle systems. So I'm just going to drag each of those particle systems in. I'm just going to make this a bit bigger so you can see there's mouse move mirror x mirror y and mirror x y. And we're just going to select the same thing on these. We're going to change the start size, particle system, start size, particle system, start size. Now when I use that slider, all of them will change size. And we can go down to really small. There you go. Cool. All right. Now, let's let's remove this emit button. Let's repurpose this emit button here. Let's say we want to take a screenshot of what we've created. Now I've created a simple script here, a screenshot script, which we will put onto the camera. So we click and drag that up onto our main camera. Oh, I already got one there. So this script has a screenshot key. So that's a key that you can press to take a screenshot. It needs a reference to the user interface canvas, the UI. Um, so that's so when you take a screenshot, it doesn't show the sliders and the button. So it turns it off before it takes a screenshot and then turns it back on afterwards. And it has a resolution scaler. So if you capture your image at, say, um, your normal screen size, but you actually want something that's three times bigger than that, so something you can print, you can change the resolution scaler here so it will scale it up. Now that is an integer, so that needs to be a whole number. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, uh, four, five, kind of thing. So let's just leave that, leave it at two at the moment. Okay. So now that we've got our screenshot script here, we can just use a key press to capture the screenshot. But what we're going to do is we'll repurpose this button. So let's first of all rename it, name it to screenshot. And now remembering when we click on our button, when we come down to the bottom, it has the on-click event. Now currently it's pointing to the particle system and telling it to emit, like we did in the second video. But this time I'm going to point it to the camera, look at the camera components and find the screenshot component. Then I'm going to find a the take screenshot command, which is down the bottom here. Now, when I click play, oh, before we do that, we want to make sure that we change the text on our button to screenshot. Now hit play. So now I'm moving my particles around, I'll make them big. Let's do this, take screenshot. 
Now, the screenshot gets saved in the root folder of the project. So to get there, if I right click, if I go down to the projects window down here, right click on assets and click show in explorer, this will show you, this will open in Windows Explorer the current project. So if I click on, oh, let's see, let's do that again, show in explorer. Okay, so here it has it has the screenshots here. It's called um, assets screenshots. That's because uh, okay. So the screenshot is meant to take a name. I forgot to expose that, but um, I'll give you a script where you can set the name in the screenshot as well. But if I double click that now, you see I get a nice big screenshot of what was captured in the program. Now that's that's all good and well. But what we need to do now is build this out so you can run it on any computer you like. Now, to do that, what we need to do is go to File, Build Settings. And now yours will look like this. It won't have any scenes in Scenes to Build. What this is doing, it's saying when I build this program, what scenes am I going to build? You might have a main menu, you might have a particle system, um, if you did the previous demos you might have a dominoes scene. Um, what we're going to do is click add open scenes. So this adds the scene that we're currently working in, which is the particles scene. And whichever scene is first in this list will be the one that it opens up into. Now down here under platform, you've got a whole bunch of different platforms that you can choose from. Um, web, PC, iOS, Android. Now, um, you have to do. There's a lot of. There's a bit of setup involved to build for iOS and Android and web and all that kind of stuff. But they are possibilities. If you want to go down that path later on, you can definitely install the SDKs for those platforms and export to your phone or web or tablet. But for now, we're just going to build for Windows. So there's a few settings that we want to set first. If we click on player settings down the bottom here, it will open in the inspector. Now, what we want it to do is when we open the program, we want it to ask us what resolution we'd like to run it at. So next to the, there's a display resolution dialog and that's set to hidden by default, which means we won't get to we won't get to choose the resolution that it runs at. But I'm going to click on that and click Enabled. Now, when we build our application, it will let us choose our resolution. So let's do that. Let's press the Build button. It will ask us to choose a folder. I've just created a folder on my desktop called Builds, um, and I've named it Interactive Particles. Let's give it a version number. It's always good to have version numbers when you're building multiple versions and iterating on a project. So I'm going to start with 001 click save okay so it will open up Explorer with um, where the build was so I'm going to double click on that build and see so here you go we get our resolution dialog now so I can choose whether I want to run it in full screen mode or windowed mode I'm gonna leave it in windowed otherwise my capture software will stop and I'm going to run that at 1600 by 900 and you can choose which monitor it displays on as well. I'm going to hit play. And you'll see here we've now got our particles in a nice full screen window. And we can change the size of our particles. And hit screenshot. Or we can just press our screenshot key, which was set to S. So let's just make a nice shape. Okay. Now if I close that, you'll notice because the build um, has a different path, the screenshots save to the path of the build. So the same folder that your build is in. So now you have... Some nice pictures that you've created inside of Unity using the particle system, uh, using some generative elements within the particle system. Uh, yeah, so I suppose from here, what I would suggest is uh, experimenting more 
with the particle system, seeing what kind of different effects you can get with it, um, playing around with you know vo inheriting velocity, size, scale over time, speed over time, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, and I'd love to see your screenshots. Post us what you make. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next series.